not probably. This is the last form test for the next uh, 15 months for the year. Next year, obviously, the year of the world T20. Uh, how do you reflect on the fact you spoke about boards and management's taking this forward? So there have been gains in the home season from an audience perspective, from generating interest in test cricket perspective. And then you go through a 15 month period where there's no test match at home. Uh, as captain, how do you reflect on, uh, on that? Well, again, it's it's. It has to be planned in a way, as I said, it has to be marketed in a certain manner whenever Test Cricket comes back home. And um, there has to be enough anticipation. And I hope, you know, these small changes that I s spoke of, they are only kept uh, specifically for Test Cricket because in one day and T20, you don't really need more interaction for the crowd because they're already, you know, looking forward to slam bang cricket and there's so much happening on the field. But when there's a session when there's not much happening, what do they do between breaks? You know, there also has to be more interaction for the fans. That's what I think. And um, I'm sure if, if those things are added, then it's an added bonus to boost up test cricket. And the ping ball test is a beginning. I'm sure these will be planned more often. And then, you know, that buzz will be created again in different parts of uh, the country as well. Um, so, yeah, these are a few things that I think can help. Um, and I'm sure... Uh, you know, Dada has been very uh, open and welcoming uh, of all uh, uh, viewpoints that I discussed with him and to understand, you know, what point of view we have as a team and his vision is also in sync. So he's, he's also doing things for betterment of Test cricket, firstly. Um, and in return, Indian cricket will be stronger. So I think we're walking in the, in the right direction. And... We will, I think under him, we will see a lot more positive changes which will be uh, cricket specific and priority will be given to Test Cricket. Last one of the Test Series. <laughs> you know, uh, you, the team has been winning convincingly the last few matches. Uh, we see no data in the intensity, there is no team in hunger. Is it something that you consciously cultivate or does it come naturally? No dip in hunger. I think it's, it's in everyone. Um, if you don't have hunger, you can't reach this level. Um, the challenge is when you perform at this level, can you keep the hunger going? Um, so I think my job, or even Ravi Bhai and the rest of the management's job has been to remind the players constantly, you know, why sometimes we forget in a difficult situation, especially as bowlers, when it gets hot and the wicket's not offering much. You know, you don't really feel like putting too much effort, but our job is just to put in small reminders as to why we started playing this game. It wasn't to, you know, sort of let loose when the pressure is high or the situation is not in your favour. And I think that shift of mindset has helped our bowlers pick up wickets on pitches that feel, that feel dead uh, to other teams. So, and not just in India, even in Australia, I think that Sydney test that we bowled in, our fast bowlers were pretty effective and lethal there as well. So, um, you know, as soon as you get that reminder of why we started playing and that passion of playing for your country, it, it's a privilege. I mean, you know, guys realize that now, that there's so many players who want to be here. And these are the lot that are getting that opportunity. And as soon as you go into that zone, then you put in everything that you have. And then you see after the test how tired you are, not during the test.